Check it out, folks. Today, we're doing fried fish. And to be specific, it's fried catfish. Let's get it. Okay, folks, so look, I'm gonna have you guys take a look down this way. Look, there's not a whole lot to it, right? Listen, this is one of those things when I tell you about the secret and how we gonna guarantee that this is gonna be fire, right? Look, now I want you to see I got everything divided, right? And don't forget the full recipe is on my website. That's smokingandgrillingwithab.com, W-I-T-A-B.com. Boy, that's a mouthful. Now, everything on this side right here is gonna be for my tartar. And over here is just the basics of what you see, right? This is how we, this is my cornmeal and we gonna season this. I told you we gonna taste this too because we wanna taste our seasoning. Now you only see a few things, you know, right here, you got the buttermilk, which is like the level up. That's gonna be our binder also. And then we got these two ingredients right here. I want you guys to pay attention to what I'm about to do. All right, so we got catfish, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some buttermilk in here like this and I'm gonna let this soak for about 15, 20 minutes, right? Okay, now look. Why are we letting this soak, right? I, you can put it in the refrigerator, you can leave it out. Listen, my buttermilk was cold. We only soaking it for like 15, 20 minutes, right? So what you, what you wanna do is you wanna multitask. So I'm gonna start with my, my mayo. We might as well just go ahead and get our little tartar, to, you know, sauce together, right? Just a nice little dipping sauce. Now, if you guys notice, I use, you see the green top? Look, this, that, this is mayo, but look, it's the olive oil version. You know what I mean? Uh, just a little bit something different. It's a little bit lighter. It's got, it's more, I, I can't explain it, but I really, really like that. And I'm making my transition to just whenever I use mayo, I use this. So if I'm using anything mayo, uh, mayo based, this is the version that I use, folks. Then I go with my garlic and onion. Set this over in here. We're gonna put a little deal in here. A little deal with it. How many of y'all cooking with deal? You know what I mean? That might've been a lot right there that came off in there. We're gonna come with our relish. And that's sweet relish, folks. Y'all talk to me and tell me, do you make any type of dark tartar sauce? And then I wanna know, do you use dill? Right, and then we got, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my lemon, but I'll add that after I get everything incorporated, right? So, and again, what we doing is we just multitasking. We marinating, and I hadn't said anything yet. Obviously, you see that I'm finna fry in this pan right here, right? I'm already starting to bring this up to temp. This is a lot of oil, so it's gonna take a minute. So I just start, you know, like I say, multitasking. Now, you guys can take a look at that right there. You can just see it, right? I thought that was a lot of deal, but you can see deal inside of here. And I can tell you now, after when I taste it, I might wanna add just a little bit more to it. But definitely wanna give it just like a little squeeze of lemon juice, right? You don't wanna put a whole lot, you just want it to be refreshing. Just gonna give this just a pinch of salt. That's all it needs. All right, so if you come here, look, this is what you need. Hey, I don't really talk about the thermometers that much, but listen, any meat thermometer works. These happen to be my brand right here, as you can see, smoking and grilling with AB. Hey, they're magnetic. You ain't gotta put them in the drawers and have your drawers all cluttered up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take this. We are gonna come on back over here. I'm gonna stick it inside here and I'm gonna find out where are we at? telling me we got a long ways to go. We want 350 plus. I'm gonna say 350, 370, and we good. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the cornmeal, right? Listen, this is where we want everything to just be great. You know what, I'm gonna do it here like this. Instead of me putting it in here, yeah, I'll do it right here. Since I got it already lined out like this, so I'm gonna add, add it, right? Now when it comes to putting your pepper inside of this right here, listen. It's gonna take a little bit of this. I just like fresh ground. Then when it comes to the salt, look, I give it two generous pinches. Ugh. The first one was bigger, so I had to equal it out, right? We got that in there. Now I use my whisk and I'll whisk this around and you can look at it, right? When you're looking at it, you can see where like, I don't know how much of it that you guys can see with the camera, but I can tell you it need to have a little bit more. Just from over the years of just cooking, I like to see my seasoning in my flour and in my cornmeal, right? This is what I put in there, you know, to make mine like over the top, right? Listen, it took me a minute to get these blend, you know, these season, this seasoning and this blend perfected, right? Again, this is a low, so, low sodium uh, product, but I put this in here. Now, you guys can put your favorite, whatever type of seasoning you want in there. Nine times out of 10, I'm either using this and look, I'm using the Creole kick. I'll put that out there right there. Most of you guys have that also, you know what I mean? But today, instead of me doing that, I like to use the Creole kick really when I do the mustard-based one. You know what I mean? I'll make that one for you guys in just a little while. 
But right now I'm gonna go ahead and just pour some of this in here. Sprinkle a little bit of this in. Now when I show it to you, it might look like a lot, but it's not folks. I want you to take a look so you can see, you can still see the cornmeal and you can see what I put about just about on top, right? And I'm gonna show you how you can tell that it's not a lot. Because when you mix this together like this, look, the color doesn't really change as much as you would think it would be. But it's a nice even mixture. After this has been, you know, marinating, soaking this up, it helps too with the moisture inside the flesh too. Right, so just get off as about as much as I can. When it's fresh, I don't worry about it tearing or nothing like that. Then we just drop this in like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get in here and use my hand. Right? All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing. All you do is repeat for how many ever many uh, fillets that you have. Okay, so I just checked my oil, it's up to temp. I still give this a little bit of a shake. Now I want you guys to pay attention. I'm gonna put this in here like this. I let it start, I kinda like move it back and forth and I ease it down like that. And then we drop him in. Now, I'm gonna check my oil. I'm only doing one right now. When I check my oil, I just wanna see how much did it drop, right? I was at 370, now I'm at 360. 354 and that's good right there now this is fish folks what you want to do is you want to cook it to your you know you get a nice golden brown and we have the uh, thermometer so we can make sure that everything is good now you can see it popping a little bit look I can put my splatter guard on top of here right here after about four minutes look at this right here this is the kind of this is the color that we're looking for you see that right there let me get this to come over Get this underneath it. And then I'm just gonna set it and bring it over here. And that's what you wanna have right there, folks. I'm gonna do it like this. Whew. You see that right there? Look at that meat right there. That's why I love catfish. And don't forget, you can do this with any type of fish that you would like. You know what I mean? Uh, I do it. I even do it with salmon, folks. Cheers. Mm. Yes, sir. This right here, I know a lot of, some people say they don't eat catfish, you know what I mean? Just because of where the catfish is. He's, you know, a fish on the bottom. I know that he's a bottom feeder, you know what I mean? Uh, but just in my southern roots, you know what I mean? Uh, this is what I know. This right here is good, but I, like I said, I do it with salmon. I do it with a lot of other things, you know what? And then I know some of y'all gonna look at this right here. Check that out. You're gonna put that on there and then you're gonna finish it. We gotta open up the discussion down in the comment section below. What's the best? And then I saw somebody put on there and said, Texas Pete. Hey, just talk to me, folks. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I already got the Kool-Aid over there. And I'm finna take a break, y'all. I'm out. Peace.